right, guys, so here's the setup that I've been showing in pictures lately. As you can see, both are tensioned at the same time. Although the one question was if there was rescue needed to be done of me in this situation or another climber in this situation. With the lines being taunt, could you make it loose like we have with our traditional backups? Where one line's a little bit more loose than the other. And you can. You just break one. And it becomes a little bit more loose. So, it's all good. Not a big deal. And then you can tension both of them back up if you really wanted to. Uh, the nice thing about this, though, let's see if I can get this on camera. I'm not sure if I can. I didn't bring my helmet cam, or my helmet, like an idiot. But when I, if I step up, um, what will happen is I can step up and have both lines tend. I'll do it on the graph. But I'll step up and I can have both lines tend. And they both stay taunt. Now the nice part about that is if I were to fall or have one of these, I should say, if I were to have a line failure on one line or the other, it's not like you're going to have a drop like the traditional, you know, systems would have if you didn't have it tended at the time, say if you're climbing and, you know, if your backup is usually down by your shoulder half the time. Some guys worse when they're not being very vigilant of their system. And that causes a shock load onto your backup system. But with this one, let's say if I was to drop, see if I can make kind of kind of what it would look like, I guess. But if this system were to become very loose on this side, this one wouldn't have much of a shock load whatsoever. It just, yeah, nothing. So there you go. That's the nice part about that. <laughs> Plus, it's a soft interface. You know, there's no teeth to catch it, which is very nice. So, uh, you don't have to worry about your line getting messed up or anything of that nature. It looks kind of, you know, crowded, <clears throat> but it's really not. It actually makes it really nice to tent, you know, to go down. It's very simple. Stop. If I was going down, lost one, I'd still stop. And then I can easily get off it. Where, say, this was the backup and I was going down and I, you know, lost it or whatever. Now this one's completely slack. If that was a traditional setup, you'd have to ascend back up a little bit to be able to break this if you're fully loaded onto it with a traditional backup. And the nice part about this is I don't have to do that. I can just lower it down a little bit and then continue on my way to get it down. I have a little weight down there so it's not going as easy. I had to, I had to give myself some weight, but it's nice. It's a smooth system, it's, you know, it's just a thought. Um, but I, I definitely like it better than the, the systems that are out there right now. Uh, it's just more, seems more user friendly and uh, more forgiving for sure and uh, for rescue I think it's way easier for rescue personally but um, that's you know that's up for argument that's a personal choice I don't think that's a a matter of you know a fact or anything of that so I don't want to try to pass my opinion off as a you know Bible because it's not I'm not that guy anyway so all right let me get on the ground and I'll uh, I'll show um, the ascent part of it a little bit so I can stand and kind of show it a little better from the ground, especially since I don't have anybody else to really to film this for me, so bear with me a little bit on the example. But uh, when you're going to ascend, the way it looks when you have either a foot ascender on below, or even if you're going to do like a rad system where you have your uh, hand ascender above, if that's what you like, and uh, you already got a pulley down here, so it's kind of nice and smooth. It acts just the same as an ID or a rig does with that that bend in the line, so you can pull it up and it'll tend nicely. So you'd be able to put the tail of your line up into your hand ascender and pull down, creating that little 
three to one or two to one, however you want to look at it. Um, mechanical advantage or your rad system. So the nice part about that is that with this system, you know, again, you can easily do that with two lines, nice and easily controlled. Pull up on the system, and they're both set. So <clears throat> there again, there's no there's no slop in one system or the other. In the event that one system were to fail, again, you're not you're not necessarily shock loading the living crap out of one side to where you got to worry about whether or not you're doing any damage to your line. You're not going to do any damage to your line. It, it would take a hell of a force, and you'd really have to have a lot of slop in this. We all know what products looks, um, how they basically act um, when shock loaded. There's been plenty of tests done, so um, it, it's plenty safe. I think it's a lot more safer than the traditional backup systems, again, due to the fact that there's just no teeth, and it's not very invasive onto the rope with a pinching effect. Um, and with the process, you're going to get slide before you're going to get any damage, really, or, you know, at most you're going to get glazing. But with climbing, I mean, unless something happened to your anchor point where you blew an anchor out or a redirect out or something of that nature, you're not really going to get those forces. Um, so, again, that's the, the nice advantage to the system that I like. So there you go. Hopefully that answers some questions. I know it's not going to answer all the questions, and I think it'd be silly of me to think that I'm going to answer all your questions anyway. I'm not looking at myself as a, you know, as the the know-all of this system by any means, or an expert. It's just a personal opinion. So hopefully I don't come off like that. I apologize if I do. Um, but I do think it's this is definitely again. A way better answer to what we're doing right now safety wise and work wise it just makes it a lot your life a lot easier on rope and a lot safer